When you start discussing the will, you start to realize what a gigantic concept it is. It's not so much um, that it's a difficult concept, I think, to wrap one's head around because it seems self-evident. Yeah. Um, but what fascinates me about the whole thing is the fact that it may be such a gigantic portion of our re reality um, that it seems almost absurd how little we actually factor it into things like science or whatever. Um, <clears throat> or we ignore the fact that science has kind of factored it in in a completely biased way. Uh, most people read, or in my opinion, most people read Darwin assuming that um, the will to life is some sort of god. That the motivating principle behind everything is simply the will to keep oneself alive, to keep oneself in existence, or in more modern parlance, to pass on one's DNA. Um, that is it. Um, Schopenhauer again, yes, the will to life. Um, so he would say that, that the will is central to what we are. In fact, it might even be what we are. Um, Nietzsche, of course, would go further and say that the that the will to life is, yes, it's important, but it's just sort of a, a prop to the will to power, because we want to be alive in order to accomplish the things, says Nietzsche. Uh, it's not so much that life is an end in itself, but in order for us to exercise power in this existence, we need to be alive. So, in Nietzsche's world, I guess, um, the will is life. Life is not a manifestation of the will to power. Um, life is the will to power. Um, now, I kind of agree with that, um, up to a point. I would say that um, the will is just as important as the phenomenal universe in terms of uh, understanding what it is. Because, as I say, the forms that we conjure up to make sense out of the uni universe have been conjured up by us. In other words, in a sense, we have created the universe that we see. Our senses are equipped only to see certain things, and we assume that that which our senses perceive to be real. Therefore, um, we are essentially saying that what is real is what I decide is real. What my senses tell me is real is what is actually real. Um, and that's just sense apparatus. How about building forms in your mind? As I say, I behind me is the back door to my house and a little uh, thing there that I'm going to put a painting in. Uh, those are just jumbles of matter, energy, and empty space, as usual. Functions of each other as well. But I've willed them into existence. I've made things out of them. Thingness only exists in here. So, in a sense, my will is creating the universe. I'm doing this to everything, or everyone's will, the will. Who says we even have an individual will? Maybe it's just will in and of itself uh, that is creating the universe. That's the sort of the tantric view, uh, that um, our desire is necessary in the existence of the universe. No desire, no universe. Uh, desire being will. Um, all around me for an eternity of distance is the same thing. Matter, energy, empty space. But in my universe, there's a house over there. There's the door behind me, which is also my house. Uh, there's the planet Jupiter. There is the past, present, and future. There is a car sitting over there in my driveway. I live in a country called Canada. All of these things are creations of the will to make sense out of a universe that ultimately is only essentially what it is. It just is. All these categories that we've created, all the will. Now think about that. Our categories we have willed into existence as tools. What does that do to our view of reality. 